California and various industries to connect with the local communities and, you know, focus on a specific target market where they, as well as the community, can benefit and be impacted positively. Our guest today has gone through various trainings and certification, um, you know, in various industry and especially in the IT world. He has worked in different sectors, ranging from services, IT services, manufacturing, medical field, um, financial institution, and now he is the founder and CEO of Double O IT Consulting. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you today? I'm doing all right. Oh my God, you, you have a lot going on. Well, it's God's grace and God's power, you know. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So tell us, tell us about your new business and how, you know, all these trainings and experiences, um, you know, how has it helped you to put this business together? Well, I cannot talk about my journey in the United States without starting from where it began from. It began from um, Ibadan in Nigeria, where I was born, um, into the Odomose family, late Justice Odomose. While growing up as a kid, my father quickly realized how hands-on I am. I like fixing stuff, TV gets broken, I try to fix it, light gets broken, I got to fix it before we get an electrician in. So he saw that and encouraged me to go into electronics and um, engineering. And so I did all that and then started my first degree in Nigeria um, as a uh, electronics engineer, computer and electrics engineer. Mm -hmm. When I was done with that, I did my internship um, at a company in Nigeria as well, repairing, fixing, you know, assembling computers right from scratch. So oh, I wow. did that in Nigeria where I, I built the tower, PC tower in Nigeria and all that, put the components to get them built it, built it for some couple of schools, handed, handed a whole bunch of projects in that. Oh, wow. um, after that, I went to India where I studied for about a year on being a network engineer that line. I left Nigeria, went back, left India, went back to Nigeria, I worked for the government for a year on IT infrastructure as well. And then I came to the United States and it all began fully, you know, the American dream. I started working as a, 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 a resident tech where I fixed computers mm -hmm. and quickly moved up, round, up the rank to become a network engineer, a network advisor mm -hmm. um, in the IT industry. I moved from there into the pharmaceutical industry, moved into the medical industry, and just kept on climbing the ladder of IT in that respect. Right. And um, while I joined uh, one of the companies in the United States and I was a network engineer with them, it occurred to me that it's possible to have people trained, especially people from where I come from, mm -hmm. put them into this IT world, open them up to the IT world and the benefit of the IT world. Mm -hmm. So that led into the um, birth of WIT Consulting, especially with the era of the pandemic, where people now began to work from home. Right. Those that were in the restaurant business had to leave the restaurant to go look for a job where they would not be interfacing with the customer on a daily basis mm -hmm. in person. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of training com companies out there that would train people, but they were half-baked. I'll put it that way because the right. training was not intensive enough. They put them to a two weeks boot camp for something that's supposed to last about a two months and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Just to get them and rush them in and then they get into the industry and they cannot even hold water. Right. And before you know it, they get let go. So that and a couple of friends of mine that I met with just gave me the idea that, okay, how about you start an IT company where you can give people the training, the proper training that is needed right. on different IT fields. That was what gave back to double OIT. Wow. That is, that is pretty intensive and, you know, I know that IT is a very, you know, it's vast, right? Correct. You know, we talk about, you know, um, um, project owner and, you know, a little, I mean, I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little trained, guys. Cyber security, <laughs> yes, so, SAP. Yes, yes. and uh, the, one of the famous one that I am aware of is the Scrum Master. Scrum Master, Scrum yeah, yes. Okay, so, you know, with the vast uh, majority of, of um, um, positions, or if you call it, that you can, you know, be in IT. What is your company focused on? So, we're focused on a couple of um, training certifications right now. Uh, it's more of a mentorship program, so it's not that we're just going to train you and let you go. We do Scrum Master, we do Product Owner, we do Agile, we have people training on Safe, Prince 2. Um, we have all that going lined up going on. The, the, the hottest one that we have right now with popular demand is the Scrum Master certification exam. 
So our training, our company goes through a six weeks instructor-led training with you. It's again a mentorship program. Mm -hmm. um, you go through that training, and then after that, you go through a self-paced online training right. at the back office, because WIT has affiliated itself with other international scrum study company. So it's not that WIT is going to be the one to write the exam or prepare the exam for you. No, you're going to right. actually go through an examination body to write that scrum certificate exam and get certified that way. Amazing. You know? And then we help you build work on your resume, we help you build your LinkedIn, um, and then we put you through how to answer interview questions. And once you do that, when you get the job, we still provide what is called on-job training for you. So we don't just throw you into the ocean, mm -hmm, leave mm -hmm. you with the sharks, and hands off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's where we differ from most people out, out there. You know, mm -hmm. so like I said, the hottest one out there right now is Scrum Master. And right. if you look at the market today, Scrum Master is beginning to be in high demand. Right. A lot of companies are moving away from the traditional um, project management PMP mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. into Scrum Master, into Agile methodolo methodology. Mm -hmm. So it's it's the new phase of managing projects mm -hmm. because now you're not only managing projects, you're managing people and managing outcome and re re results for the company. Right. But right. Like when it used to be PMP. It's now more of agile methodology, and scrum masters are needed right. to bring people into that light, to bring teams into that light. I feel like you you have really gone on, uh, you know, the beginners who are you know trying to jo join IT. Correct. But um, can you also shed more light on how you know people who are already doing IT, you know, how can they be benefit? You know, is there a room for them? You know, for growth or you know? Yes, there is a room for them for growth, and don't forget. Like you mentioned earlier on, IT is very, very big. Right. It's just like you say in the medical field. You have the doctors, the nurses, the surgeons. Right. You have the veterinarians and all that. So even in the world of IT, you could be, um, you could be, for instance, uh, a network engineer like I am. Right. And you decide that, okay, you don't want to do network engineering anymore. You want to cross into Scrum. Gotcha. There's room for that. Gotcha. You understand? Okay. You could even have been a Scrum master and you realize that, okay, you got training somewhere, you're on the job and you're finding yourself lacking. We take people like that as well, mm -hmm. they're already in the field, and mm -hmm. then we retrain them, we customize That's training beautiful. to make them better mm -hmm. and make them more efficient at their work. That's beautiful. And then you also made mention of, I mean, one of the biggest things for me is when, you know, organizations and companies, you know, when they are, you know, able to help the students mm -hmm. and not, you know, not just throw them out there, Correct. you know, able to help them, you know, with their resume and also with the job search. Can you throw a little bit more light on that? So with WIT, um, when you go through the training, you go through the exam, we help you work on your resume. Why do we help you work on your resume? Don't forget, when you're looking for a job out there, your resume is your copy out there. Mm -hmm. A recruiter is not going to talk to you first without going through your resume. Your resume is your identification. If your resume is not set up correctly, mm -hmm. you're not going to get called by for any job. So that's why we help you work on your resume. Make sure it is built correctly, mm -hmm. and it's, it's, it stands the scan, because for a job posting, a recruiter gets about a thousand applications. Mm -hmm. A recruiter is not going to sit there and go through that 1,000 application. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It goes through a system that scans those res 1,000 resume applications right. and brings it down to just about 10% of those that match what they're looking for. Right. That is what we do for you. We put you at that stage where you can go through escaping that first level of scan mm -hmm. and put you through on that 10% where you're now at a higher rate of getting that interview. Amazing. All right? And then, again, we look into your LinkedIn. Why do we look into your LinkedIn? Unlike Twitter and uh, Facebook, when a recruiter gets a hold of your resume, the first thing they do after you pass that scan is to go through your LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. It's the professional platform to see that okay, your LinkedIn matches who you say you are. Right. Like right. an additional layer of verification mm -hmm. to what your resume is talking about. Once that is done and they are satisfied, then they give you the first call. Hmm. Once you get that first call, then we come in to talk to you and prepare you for the next call, which will be with your hiring manager and things like that. Amazing. Right? So what we do is we prepare your resume for you, we help you with your LinkedIn optimization, right. mm -hmm. then you have to put that on job search engines and let the job search engines do its magic for you. Amazing, yes. amazing. I mean, you guys have heard it all. Double O IT Consulting. They don't just throw you out to the shots. They help you with your resume. 
help you, you know, um, pass through the first, you said 10% or, yes. yes, and then get you out there by even, you know, going through your LinkedIn and making sure you're, you're like the number one pick for companies or organizations who are looking for candidates. Uh, we're going to take a break right now. We're going to be right back.